Martin Nielsen. So we're going to add the full bales again in the corner. We have some space over there, but we're going to leave it because that way we can round that corner for our doorway there with loose straw instead, keeping our corners very tight and strong. Wiley's been working on the squash blocks all the way down, getting them in place. Kids are getting really excited. We're going to start working on their rooms probably tomorrow, but first we have to get their toe-ups ready to go. So we are going to add some extra scraps of foam that we have and then rock on top of that to fill in any gaps and cracks. So up here we have um, just a small section that we have to make 16 inch bales. So we're going to retie a whole bunch of flakes and then put our string on the opposite way. That way they're not um, facing on the inside and outside of our house once the bale gets tipped to it on its side. Okay, here's the fun part, trying to squeeze them up there. Adding some strips of plywood, scrap plywood pieces, to make it easier to slide our small bales up.
You're trying to hammer a rock? Yeah. So, today's a beautiful, nice day, and it's a perfect day to be working. Onyx, remember you spray painted your head? Yeah. Lower half is done. We just have the uppers and the living room up there. This is the last box beam. Uh, the kids and I are here for the next two days, just us, and we are going to see what we can get done while Wiley is gone getting plaster. It's going to take him two full days of just driving there and back. It's uh, about 600 miles each way. Are you ready to start? Yeah! All right. You ready to start? Yeah! Okay, let's do this. found it much more efficient to tie two small bales at the same time. So I went here, made my holes, tied this bale off, and then I went over on the other side, made my holes there, and now I'm going to tie my bale on that side. And when I'm all done, I will have two bales out of one. 